What's up everybody? My name is Nickerson. Thanks for coming back to my channel for another 30 days of Halloween. And today we have a very special guest, True Masshole. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? Not much. How you been? I'm great. Been a while? Yes, it has. Same old, same old? Absolutely. That's what I always say. Same shit, different day. <laughs> same shit, bigger pile, right? That's right. <laughs> so today on 30 days of Halloween, we're going to talk about the one and only Leprechaun. This was a classic early 90s movie about this psychotic leprechaun who got his gold stolen and he kills everyone in his way to get it back yeah that's right and, and uh this now now this is a movie like no matter what background you come from i feel like if you watch this movie you'll like it because it, it's it's you know one part horror and like two parts comedy kind of you know and uh they just really put it together well and, and re-watching it for this it was like wow like you get the my first vibe was like they don't do it like this anymore they don't you know and uh i was like damn this is uh this is nice it's refreshing you know compared to, to the modern day horror where they either take it way too seriously and buy the book and do the same shit over and over and over yep but uh yeah it's just it's i would say maybe a quarter jump scares yeah and half comedy mm. which is fantastic yeah, it always makes always makes for a good show. That's uh, oh, I just the way the the prosthetics and the the props like the makeup he had on him was was awesome. They made him look really good. Warwick Davis owns that character for sure. He does. That's that's definitely one of his best roles. That and Willow, I'd say Th those yeah. two movies are like so good, so different, but so good. He he was he was a classic actor back in the day. Leprechaun is just. It's just one of those movies. It's it's so it's so goofy. It's like I think it's set on Hulu when I was. It's like HBO through Hulu is how I watch it. I don't even think it's at horror. I think it's a just comedy. Like I, when <laughs> you look it up on Google, it says horror comedy, and it's like how many movies are like that past like ninety eight? You know, almost none. Well, I mean, you have a leprechaun that's just humming nursery rhymes the entire time. So <laughs> right, <laughs> I love that, and uh, I, I like how they made it. It was like when they were when they were like fighting him or he was attacking them they were attacking him it was always like this carnival game like it was like you know whack them all or you shoot the things when they pop up and he was like <laughs> driving around on his little tricycle and he's going through the doorways and the cabinets and then the like cop in the woods he'd be like i'm over here and he would, it like really messed with them but it was in a funny way but it was still like it was still pretty gruesome when he killed people so i was like yeah it was that was refreshing Early '90s horror, man. That that was refreshing. I have to say. Absolutely. Mm. So, what did you like about the movie the most overall? Uh, I I would say probably the best part was that there was no CGI. It was yeah. it was all prosthetics. Yeah. And it was I disgustingly agree. gruesome. Yeah. A, a lot of the, you know, the kill scenes. Yeah, they they were. Great. That's not CGI. Nope. That's just a bunch of prosthetics on people's faces. Prosthetics and, and really good makeup. Yeah, they, absolutely. It had to be back in the day. And uh, when that event takes place and he, he's kind of morphing, I won't say too much, but yeah, it looked it looked awesome. Like you it pointed did. out earlier, it was just like fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> they literally don't. It's, it's funny because everything now in a horror movie, almost everything is made on, uh, on a computer. It is. So uh, it was... It takes you back to memory lane. It's uh, first off they use the prosthetics, which is awesome, and then again the, the horror and comedy was just it's so entertaining overall. Like I feel like no matter what you watch, you can still watch it and enjoy it somewhat. You, you know can. what I mean? You can. It's just one of those movies. I mean, for ninety three, the the graphics were right up there, for Hell. sure. Hell yeah! I got a third time's a charm, right? <laughs> lucky charms. Oh yeah, the lucky charm scene. That was pretty funny. The first one when he when he finds the fucking Lucky Charms and he's yeah. like he like oh <laughs> like Lucky Charms plug in the movie like obviously they were yeah. gonna do that. He takes him. He's like, Bleh! and he just spits him out and throws it on the ground. I was like, dude, that's awesome. Instead of him having some cheap like, wow, these are really good. Like like a plug <laughs> like that. You know they're like yeah we'll do. I'm sure it was some sort of sponsorship or something. Oh, like yeah. that. But that's so good. They're like. He threw him away. I was like, oh, that's much better than him going, wow, a delicious treat. You know, like, obviously. Yeah. like Because uh, you figure he's going to because he's a leprechaun. Yeah. But he's just like, no. He's, he's like, these suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
such a good one. I thought it was, I think it's so cool that they played off on the, uh, on the Legend of Leprechauns. Like he said he's 600 years old, like that's cool. Like he's, he's always had this mission to keep his gold and, and throughout, the, throughout centuries, people have taken it from him and he goes and he kills those people and gets it back. And uh, that was just cool. Yeah. I had no idea that four leaf clovers were like, would keep them at bay where they were. I always yeah. thought that they were, were looking for four leaf clovers. Yeah, I, I I wasn't sure. I remember I remember having a maybe that's where, like um, you know four leaf clovers are good luck. Yeah. Well, maybe that maybe that was because the legend was is they keep leprechauns away. So it was good luck. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. I didn't look into it, but you know that, that might be it. I didn't really think of it. I thought that was really cool how that's he kept them in a crate and he kept one on the top. Yeah. You know that, that was cool how they kept them like that. And uh, again, just so funny. Like he does such a good job. All these like Irish taunts and like he's like, you don't know what I am. Look at me buckles on me shoe. I'm a leprechaun. <laughs> it's like, dude, this is great. If you haven't seen Leprechaun, you gotta you gotta change that. It's a classic. We, we we won't get into one of the kill scenes, but after he says, I should have told her to watch her step. <laughs> oh yeah. And I was like, oh god. Right, and it's like the Irish jigs, <laughs> like. <laughs> oh, they they nailed that movie. It was uh, so good. That the acting, everything's really on the the horror comedy mix. It's just uh, I love the scene where he fucking. Oh, I I got a story for him. I got a story. So I remember when I was younger, I watched this movie with my cousin Callie. Shout out Callie. You know what story's coming if you're watching the video. Shout out. <laughs> and uh, so the scene where he's he's reaching in the truck, he's, he pops up through the window, he's like, ah, he's trying to grab him, and the kid like, grabs that, like, the push-in lighters on the old cars they used to have those. You push in the lighter for a couple seconds, it gets hot. He took it out, he presses it on the leprechaun's nose, and he's like, ah! and, he, and he runs away. And I remember the the genius kid I was, was I was, we were on the way, at, we just watched a movie, we were on the way to Chili's, and, uh, I, I took it out. My cousin's like, don't do it. It's going to hurt. I was like, I don't think it's going to hurt as much as like, in the movies. <laughs> and I fucking <laughs> pressed it on my nose uh. like a dumb shit. And I was like, oh. <laughs> my aunt's like, what? She's like, Matthew lit his nose on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh. I was like, by accident. She's like, no, it was because it was in Leprechaun. I was like, oh, okay. Shit. All right. Then we did just watch that. She's like, you know what? I knew we shouldn't have watched this movie. <laughs> Don't tell your mother. <laughs> there was uh, one time that I was in the backseat of my friend's mother's car, mm -hmm. and she had like one of those old station wagons. And Classic. I, I, I pushed the, the lighter in because for some reason there was a lighter pushing in the backseat. Oh. And okay. I pulled it out, and I was like, oh, it's not even lit. And I put my thumb on it, and I was like, oh, you fucking bitch! <laughs> Oh man, I'm glad. So I have to say, I'm glad we share that stupidity story in common. That's that's pretty funny. I'm surprised they don't have a scar on my nose. Oh, like a little spiral. Remember they were like a little spiral coil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I remember. Once that happened, I was like, ah! and like every time I'd look at a lighter in a car from then on, I was like, PTSD. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back in '93 when we watched Leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Dude, that was that was a trip. That's a, it's such a good series in general. I agree. And uh, just again, just to reiterate, it's they don't make movies like this anymore. And you'll know that as soon as you watch it. It's got all the the '90s pizzazz that was in the movies. You know the 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 goofy music, like like you said. You know the the carnival music when when that stuff was happening. Yes. Yeah. And it a, has Jennifer Aniston. It does have Jennifer Aniston. Yes, that was. I when I saw that, I was like, oh shit. And Didn't was, you say something about it was like her first role? It was it was the very it was the only horror movie that she ever did, right, and it was right. the very first full length film that she ever did as well. That is awesome. Which is crazy because yeah. y when you think Jennifer Aniston, you don't think no Leprechaun. You think like you think yeah Friends. Yeah, Friends exactly. And uh, I I always I always say this. I'm like you know if I. If I ever met certain actors from like, you know, I'd always ask them about a movie that like wasn't like, you know, it's not one of their top favorites that they did or the biggest one. And if yeah. I ever met Jennifer Aniston, I'd be like, remember Leprechaun? <laughs> <laughs> like, um, like Peter Griffin. He, he, I forget what actor he talks to. I think it's Mel Gibson or something. He's like, you remember you were in this movie? You remember that? Remember when you were in The Patriot? <laughs> oh, it was, yeah. 
Great movie, by the way. I, paid, I just rewatched that one. But dude, it's it, it's so funny because like if if you did meet one of the actors, you'd you'd be like, hey, do you remember this movie? If it wasn't a big movie, it's just like a common thought. So I thought that was funny when when Family Guy touched up on that. I uh, I did that when I met Danielle Harris. Yeah. Uh, I was like, oh, you were in Wish Upon a Star with Katherine Heigl, and she was like, yes, I was, and I was like, okay, just give me my autograph. <laughs> All right, just sign that. Yeah, I just wanted to confirm. <laughs> sign, sign, sign the dotted line. I figured she would have like some like behind the scenes story or something. But right. she was like, no. Hey, She's like, oh, you, yeah, you probably know that more than me at this point. <laughs> She's just done so much. You always think like, uh, but yeah, that's crazy. Jennifer Aniston's first full length feature film, Leprechaun. Right, like I bet anybody. First of all, I bet if you're watching this, you never thought Jennifer Aniston would come up in one of these movies. No, definitely not. I actually forgot that she was in it, and then same. Uh, when I searched it, her picture was on there, and I was like, "What the fuck is she doing on this?" <laughs> and then I was like, right? "Oh shit, she's in the movie." Yeah, I remember. Yeah, so I, I rewatched. It. I saw the cover when I was watching on the, the HBO, um, the HBO subs- subscription. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, dude, she was in this," and that was back when again before this was before Friends, right? It was a year before Friends. Yeah. Yeah, and um. So, like, back then when I watched it, she wasn't anybody. She was just, like, the, the token cute girl in the horror movie. Yeah. Little did we know she was going to be a household name. She with didn't that, know that. They didn't know that. Which with that short blue polka dot dress in the very beginning. hey yes, that. <laughs> short blue polka dot dresses. That's what we cheers to here. Oh, man. Any excuse to drink. Yeah, that too. Any excuse. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> But uh, we're gonna have to watch the other ones too. Now that now that we watched the classic Leprechaun, we gotta watch the others. Yeah, I we think there have was. To. So I don't remember. But I think there was four, at least. There might have been five, but I, I remember I stopped at four because I think they uh, naturally like every series does. In my opinion, my opinion, most series, the lo- the longer it goes, you know, the shittier it gets. I mean, that's I think that's a standard. Like there is some good movies that go into four or five. That's but right. I still think it's really hard to to match the original, and um, yeah. but I think I think there's four. There might have been some offshoot. It's like the Chucky movies, Child's Play one through three were good, and then after that they slowly got like worse and worse. It just was it was too far. It was you know what it was it was it, it was too far from um, what they did originally. You know they let it go rampant wild like Bride of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, all that like. They're not bad, but like the original Child's Play, he he does the voodoo and shit, yeah. the summon them. That was fucking cool. After that, they're all cash grabs. They are, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, this did good. Let's let's keep let's just rinse this out until we can make more. They're like, oh, a franchise. Let's beat a dead horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's slap <laughs> the shit out of it. <laughs> like back in the day. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. We went to high school together, so we share a lot of uh, common funny stories from back in the day. Most that cannot be told. Most that cannot be told. At least not in this video. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe a future video. We'll save that for another day. Right. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to have to watch the um, the rest of the Leprechaun movies for sure. Give those a review. Because I, I remember loving the movies. I just, I had to rewatch it. Yeah? Yeah, and I'm glad we decided to do this. You got the, we got the Irish pride today. We had to do, we had to do Leprechaun. You have to. It's the luck of the Irish. The luck of the Irish. Did I did I mention the uh, we're really cooking now? I think I did. Yeah, he put he puts the fucking uh, he puts his hand on the stove and he, he grabs a spatula and he's like he's like now oh, we're cooking kids and I was like dude that's awesome come on he's chasing you but he's like he's like funny about it. like that's cool it's still scary but it, it's it's like I don't know it just sets a good vibe horror and comedy it's like you need that it's like oh more relief Quite but it's still stress now, and he's like, he does a quick stitch and then it's back to it you know. That's right. But yeah, had to talk about Leprechaun. You have to. And I had to have True Mass Hole out because we got the fucking Irish pride in the building. Thanks for coming out, brother. Hey, no worries. Appreciate it. He'll be Appreciate on another it. one. You'll see him soon. Again, True Mass Hole. Check him out on Instagram. Don't forget, leave it in the comments. What's your favorite horror movie? What's your favorite Halloween movies to watch? Leave it in the comments. We'll, leave, we'll give it a review. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks again.
Ha, 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 ha.